What's going on guys and welcome to the next episode of the crack a pack series today We are opening up and I might be wrong, but I think this is for the very first time 10th edition uh, This is an interesting set. There's a card sitting at the top at 60 bucks as of the recording of this crucible of worlds But we all know that that just got announced as a reprint at the time of recording It might have even come out by the time this goes up, but um it got it, it is getting a reprint I should say in core 2019 so I assume that that price is gonna drop uh, sitting at $25 is goblin lore which is interesting because it's an uncommon um, but it is very good and the hollow one deck in modern right now there's also grave pact as well as doubling cube quite a number of really good cards in this set um, I've actually kind of always really liked 10th edition uh, so I'm actually really excited to open them uh, as always though we are gonna uh, look at this in terms of pack one pick one limited environment see if we can determine what our first pick would be uh, if we were actually looking at this and drafting it so I'll do the best I can obviously I'm not great uh, with it with drafting and I've never drafted this set so I do apologize if I get anything incorrect <coughs> there may be cards that are actually really good that uh, I may just miss so I apologize but we'll do the best we can our first card is venerable monk it is a 2-2 for three and when it comes into play you gain two life uh, I generally don't like these kinds of cards. Life gain is not my favorite strategy, uh, so I wouldn't pick that. Merfolk Looter is actually great, though. 1-1 one, one for 2. You can tap it and draw a card and discard a card. I love this. I would definitely consider it. Uh, Phyrexian Rager is another good card. Uh, it's a 2-2 two, two for 3. When it comes into play, you draw a card and lose 1 life. I think I would rather have the Looter because it's repeated. Uh, and you can actually do some p funny stuff with your graveyard. But still, Phyrexian Rager, very good. Viachino Runner is a 3-2 for 4. It can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. It essentially has Menace. Uh, I like this. It's aggressive, right? And that's what's cool about it. Um, you can get in some damage pretty easily with it. But I think I still would value the card advantage uh, sort of engine over it. Uh, it's just not quite powerful enough for me. <clears throat> aggressive Urge is a 2-drop instant. Target creature gets plus 1, plus 1 till end of turd, turn Excuse me, and draw a card. Uh, this is a decent combat trick just in terms of it replaces itself, but plus one plus one really isn't that good for two uh, And so I kind of don't like that uh, Crafty path mage is a one one for three you can tap it and target creature with power two or less is unblockable this turn uh, Unblockable stuff can be very good, but you really have to dedicate a lot to it. So I'm not excited about that <clears throat> Lanowar sentinel is a two three for three when it comes into play, you may pay one in a green, and if you do, search your library for a card named Lanowar Sentinel and put that card into play. I think this is great if you get a lot of them. It is not if you don't. Uh, I don't know how early would be like too early to go in on these. Uh, I mean, I assume as many as you can get is great. Um, I don't know if it's better than the looter or not, so I'll keep it to the side for now. Goblin Elite Infantry is a 2-2 two, two for 2. Uh, when it blocks or becomes blocked, it gets minus 1, minus 1. I kind of don't like this. It's just a bear with downside. So, <laughs> doesn't seem very good to me. Unholy Strength is a 1 black for an enchant creature. The creature gets plus 2, plus 1. This is a very low investment card. It only costs 1 black to do this. And it does have some high reward in certain decks. Uh, but I don't like enchant creatures. They lead to 2 for 1s a little bit too often for me. So, I would not pick it. <coughs> Fist of Anvil is 2 for an instant. Target creature gets plus 4, plus 0 until end of turn. This is a heck of a power uh, of a uh, battle trick. Oh my gosh, combat trick. I lost the word. Oh, that was awkward. Um, <laughs> but Fist of Anvil is actually quite good. Uh, I like this card for sure, but again, combat tricks, I don't tend to pick too early. Uh, Threaten is a 3-drop three sor three sorcery. Untap target creature and gain control of it until end of turn. It gains haste until end of turn. It's just kind of the classic uh, act of treason kind of effect. Um, good, not necessarily first pick in my opinion. Uh, Consume Spirit X and 2. Uh, spend only black mana for X. Consume Spirit deals X damage to target creature or player and you gain X life. If you're in a black deck, this actually has really high upside, so I'll leave it to the side for now. Uh, Femoreth Archers, two, uh, excuse me, two and a green for a 2-2. Two, two. You can tap it and it deals four damage to target attacking creature with flying. This actually seems kind of interesting. I don't know if this is good. Uh, please let me know in the comment section because this, I feel like, could be awesome. Uh, our rare is Nomad Mythmaker. It's a 2-2 two, two for three. <clears throat> you can pay one white and tap it and put an aura card in your graveyard into play attached to a creature you control. 
this is an interesting card. I like this only because it takes away the downside of auras, uh, the two for ones that I mentioned already, but it's very easy to get rid of, I would say. So I probably would not pick that. Um, I, I actually might go, it's kind of between the, actually really all four of these are kind of good. Um, I think I might actually try, <sighs> Merfolk Looter is just always solid. So that's like the safe pick. Uh, the Archer seems really good against flyer, flying decks, but s too often I feel like it wouldn't have a target. Uh, Consume Spirit, you really have to be kind of mono black to really make it good. That being said, it is a removal spell and it can actually win you the game. So there's a lot of upside there. And the Sentinel, it just seems like a good card to go in on very early because if you get a couple of them, it just makes it really good. That being said, you do have to pay five mana in total to actually search them out. Uh, and they don't really, uh, if you have more mana, they chain, but that's really it. So I think, honestly, I might just go for Merfolk Looter. I know that's kind of boring, but it seems like the safe pick. Uh, if I'm wrong, of course, let me know in the comment section below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Make sure to also subscribe to stay up to date <clears throat> Excuse me, on all of our other content. We've got tons of it coming out every single day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. With that, though, I'm going to get out of here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next Crack-A-Pack video.